Hey guys, it's Sleep Grandma here. I am taking a nice hot bath and I'm playing with this um, slime glitter, which I love. It's a lot of fun to play with. Um, today I'm going to talk about a, a gratitude list. You know, in AA, they tell us that we need to make a gratitude list every day so we can um, remember what we should be grateful for. So I wanted to give you an idea of um, what I'm grateful for. Um, today, I'm grateful for the fact that I was able to go television shopping today. I was looking for a 50 to 60 inch TV for my bedroom. The TV I have is a 32 inch and it's really too small. I can't see it that well. So um, I want to get something bigger. I was not able to find what I wanted because I didn't have it in the store because of the um, pandemic. But, you know, I'll wait. I'm going to um, actually measure where I'm going to put it, and um, I can't find my tape measure, but I'm very grateful that I have the money to actually be able to do that, especially in this time of um, of need. I have helped a couple of people, so I don't feel bad about spending that money on myself, but um, yeah, I'm just grateful that I'm able to do that. Um, I'm grateful that... I had was able to redecorate my bedroom. I um, and I'm grateful that I feel like I'm deserve to decorate my bedroom. That I'm worthy of doing that because I didn't always feel that way. I felt like I should always be last in line for anything because um, everybody else was more important than I was. So today I feel like. Um, I'm important too, and that's um, that's very important to me. To I built up my self esteem over the last couple of years, so um, I really worked hard on it. Done a lot of spiritual work. I did the twelve steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, and um, I have really come a long way. So I'm really grateful. I'm grateful for um, for having found. The Steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. So let's count what I'm grateful for. Number one, I'm grateful for being able to go TV shopping and to be able to have that money in the bank that I can do that. Number two, I'm grateful that I was able to um, buy a new comforter. You know, it was a cheap set. It was like $34 for like eight piece set, but I love the um, blankets because they're really soft and cushiony. So I was grateful I was able to change the color scheme. Actually, the color scheme I chose was like this. It's kind of a blue green, a light blue green, very pretty, very light and frothy. And um, so that's number two. Number three, I'm grateful that, um, what did I say I was grateful for? <laughs> I'm grateful that that I'm able to live in comfort, you know, that I'm able to be able to do those things. Number four, I'm grateful that I was able to walk around the store. I actually went to one store and um, <clears throat> they didn't have what I wanted, so I went to another store. I have a car. I'm grateful. Number five, I'm grateful that I have a car to drive that I could go to the other store and actually my car runs. So I was able to go to the other store and um, look at their TVs and they didn't have what I wanted either. So um, I went back to the first store and um, they didn't have the size I wanted. But I'm grateful that I was able to zoom around in my car and do that and um, that I'm able to walk around the store because some people aren't. They um, actually have to ride in that motor thing but I'm able to do that and I'm really grateful to have the health now mind you I have worked on it because a lot of people um where I live is a 55 and older community and um 
a lot of, they tried to start a, a walking club, but um, nobody signed up. They, um, the front office tried to um, set up a club where everybody at four o'clock, they would um, walk every day, but no one was interested. And see, you have to put an effort, too, because even though we are blessed and even though I am grateful, I also work on it. So um, that I'm grateful that I'm willing to work on it, you know. Um, that would be number five. I think it's number five. I'm grateful that I'm able to, that I'm willing to work on it, you know. Number six. I'm grateful that um, that I'm in good health, that I actually, my legs function. I shattered my ankle, gosh, I think it's been 15 years ago, and um, it doesn't hurt or anything. I'm, I'm able to walk on it, run on it, whatever. I'm grateful for that. <clears throat> I'm grateful that I can breathe. And I have um, the ability <clears throat> to actually move around and be flexible. I'm grateful that today, number seven, I'm grateful that today I was able to do a lot of housework. Uh, I cleaned out my laundry room and, um, and, you know, cleaned out the kitty litter box and just hauled everything to the trash. I mean, I'm 63 years old, so let me tell you, I am so grateful that I'm able to just move around with such fluidity. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm grateful to God that I'm able to, to do that, you know? Um... Number seven, I went to lunch with my daughter and my granddaughter yesterday, and um, I'm really grateful that they're here from New York. They drove in because they didn't want to use public transportation because of the, um, the COVID-19, and um, they're here visiting, so I was able to go to lunch with them yesterday. We had a nice lunch, and I'm grateful that they're here and that... Um, they had a safe trip. I prayed for them on my knees, and um, I'm grateful that God, that Jehovah granted me the blessing of being able to spend time with my girls. I am grateful that, um, that, Oh, what else am I grateful for? Gosh, there's so much to be grateful for. You know, I'm grateful that I have food in the refrigerator. I have to um, clean out my refrigerator. I haven't got to that part yet, but I'm grateful that I have food in the refrigerator. And um, I can eat anything I want to. I mean, today I had a container of cottage cheese with um, pineapple and it was delicious and it was I think it was pineapple and water it wasn't in um, syrup it was in water and it was really it wasn't real sweet it was just right there you know <clears throat> nice and delicious refreshing satisfying and um, number eight I don't even know what number one on there. I think we might be on nine <laughs> Nine, I'm grateful that I'm uh that I don't have to overeat because of my emotions. I've had that problem in the past. Uh, when I was in my teens, I was bulimic and um I didn't know why I was overeating, but come to find out it is a um kind of a disorder, I guess an eating disorder, but I mean I'm not fat by any means, but you know, I just don't wanna when you're eating and you're not hungry, then um, that's not a good thing. So it's, it's very important that we keep an eye on that. I'm grateful that today I don't have to eat my emotions. You know, um, I can write about them. 
I can talk about them on my videos. I can um, talk to someone about them. I have a sponsor that I talk to about my emotions. I go to meetings. I go to AA meetings where I talk about my emotions and um, what's going on with me. And I love that. I love that I have some kind of outlet that I don't have to suffer in silence or anything. And um, I don't have to, you know, buy a bag of, I don't know, a tray of uh, cinnamon rolls, which is one of my favorite things. And, um, and eat my emotions today. I'm grateful for that. But you see, I'm also willing to go to meetings. I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to write. If my sponsor tells me she wants me to write something down, I'm willing to do that. And I love that. I love that I'm willing, that I really want to work on myself because a lot of people are not willing to work on themselves. And I like that about myself. Um, ten, I'm grateful that I'm willing to work on myself so I don't have to put my issues on others. You know, taking, taking out frustration, screaming and yelling, getting in people's faces, you know, because I'm frustrated. Um, I'm glad that I'm the kind of person that I'm willing to take responsibility for my actions, emotions. Um, I'm willing to take full responsibility for it. I'm very grateful that God made me that way because I see a lot of people that are not that way and I think that um, I think it's a gift I really do 11 11 would be I'm grateful to be grateful I'm grateful that I can look at these little things because um, when I first got sober I couldn't look at the little things to be grateful for. I mean, I thought to myself, well, you know, this is no big deal. Everybody has these things and, you know, I should, I should have more. And I tried my best to get more and more and more and more was never enough. What are you looking at? <laughs> and, um, no, you don't eat slime here. You want, and, um, I'm grateful that I can even recognize these things today. You know what I mean? I mean, to even just like the minimum, I'm grateful for what I already have. What I already have. And I wasn't grateful before, not at all. I just thought, ah, it's no big deal, whatever. But no, I'm grateful that, um, that I don't have to drink anymore. Number 12, I'm grateful that I don't have to drink anymore. I'm grateful that I don't have to swing by the liquor store. I was talking to my neighbor earlier because he's still drinking. And uh, we were talking about how expensive it is. And I was telling him that, um, you know, I used to swing by the liquor store and get my bottle and then um, come home and drink by myself while watching a movie or whatever. And... Um, I'm grateful I do not have to do that anymore because it was really expensive. Whoa. Uh-oh. And um, it added up. It was spending like maybe $400 a month on alcohol. That's crazy. I know it sounds like a lot, but it really does add up. I mean, you just have to spend like, what, $10 a day? So you can, uh, $10 a day is $300 a month. But, you know, you always splurge for that one special alcohol, and that's $15, $25, $30, uh, say $30 in one night. I mean, it really adds up really quick. And then if you go out drinking, it's even worse. So I'm really grateful that I'm able to spend that money on the TV today instead of um, pouring it down, pouring poison down my throat. 13, I'm grateful that my grandchildren are well, that every, no one's gotten the COVID yet. Hopefully no one will. And um, I'm grateful that we're all willing to quarantine and we're willing to um, abide by the guidelines to keep ourselves safe. I'm glad we're not stubborn. I'm 14, I'm, I'm grateful that we're not stubborn and in denial like moronic zombies that uh, 
fanatics that believe in in man instead of God. You know, I believe in God and I believe that God is showing me the way. So I have to be willing to do my part to stay safe. So yes, I mean, I really recommend that you make your list every day of what you're grateful for. You know, I'm so grateful for my little dog and my little cat that show me they love me every day. And uh, when I go to bed, we just, come on guys, let's go to bed. And we pile up in bed. And I just love feeling their little warm bodies right there next to me. Letting me know that they're there to protect me. They're there to love me. And um, if anybody starts trying to get in, you know, my dog starts barking. So I love that. Makes me feel safe. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. You know, the things, make your gratitude list every day because it's very important. And you know what? You'll find, you will find that it gets easier and easier to make a gratitude list and your list just gets longer and longer. And when you live in gratitude, it's really hard to be depressed. It really is because you're constantly reminding yourself of what you need to be grateful for. I'm um, 15. I am grateful. I have toothpaste to brush my teeth. Yeah, I know that seems silly, but you know, some people can't afford toothpaste. You know, toothpaste is like three or five dollars now. That's crazy. The prices have just tripled. You know what I'm grateful for, too? I was able to buy panties today. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but I mean, it's true. I went to look for women's just cotton panties. And um, I like Fruit of the Loom. And um, or um, what's the other one? Uh, there's another one. Well, Hanes. I like Hanes, too. I think I ended up buying Hanes because they were cheaper. But for God's sake, a, a, a package of six panties was 15 to $20. What the? Are you serious right now? That's crazy. So I got the ones that were like nine, nine eighty nine. I said, I'm not paying more than $10 for some panties, some cotton panties. That's crazy. So yeah, I'm just grateful I had the money for that because I'm like, wow, these people are outrageous. They know we're in a bad situation and they're price gorging. So anyway, I just wanted to say, that I am grateful, and I hope you are too. Much love, guys. Talk to you later.